Is there like a totally different, different species? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the white sand pearl has pearl in it, uh -huh. where yours is going to have metallic in it. Crazy production. Even Hollywood doesn't, doesn't do this. Soon we're uh, sending the drone up. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Guys, good morning. It's uh, 6.20 in the morning. It is eight degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why I'm doing this, but at this stage already, Blackbird has to get a stage two. We're driving an hour, I'm riding an hour away to Nadal's. We're gonna do the cam uh, replacement, the cam install. I'm gonna put a Zippers 468 in myself. You know, they say that it's either a uh, genius or total foolishness or idiot. It's, it's the borderline between being a genius and being a total fool. I think this case, I'm a fool for riding at this temperature. So I'm all bundled up. I have like about six layers on top, four layers on the bottom, and I'm going to be riding quietly out of here, rolling down the shore. It's about an hour and 10 minutes away. Gonna be very careful. It's clear, skies are clear, very cold, but there's no precipitation, no rain, no snow, so roads should be good, but I'll go slow anyway. Guys, I made it through. I made it through. I had, I just counted, I had five uh, layers on the bottom. Make sure you don't show me doing dishes, right? <laughs> <laughs> And Glenn halfway there uh, drives by with his truck. I look aside, I was gonna let him go, and he's like opens the window and shows me the cam. He had the cam with him. <laughs> so from that from that point on, from that point on, where uh, he, he followed me, he was behind me, watching my back the whole time. It was brutal cold, brutal cold. 15 minutes after I got here, I'm now actually in normal uh, temp room temperature, <laughs> defrosted. So we're gonna uh, have traditional, traditional Middle Eastern food. It's gonna, it's hummus or hummus. Not hummus, we're gonna have food. We're gonna have gonna, food, Muslim style, Syrian style. Okay, food, which is uh, fava beans, uh, Egyptian style and Syrian style, and it's gonna be delicious. The Armenian cheese. We're Armenian have cheese eggs, with the olives, more stuff. And uh, we'll see when the president. Yeah, and then we'll uh, dig in. We'll, we're letting the bike. We're, oh, by the way, the bike is officially has a new name, and we have Nadal over here. He came up with the name, with the name, <laughs> and the name is Blackbird. Yay! And I think uh, it's appropriate. It's a perfect name. Uh, figure it out yourselves. And uh, Blackbird needs a new engine, so. The cam is coming in, more power, and lots of fun. Uh, come over and have a long breakfast with them. I know, so you have to, <laughs> good for business. <laughs> yeah. These We're not are, open for business over here. This, not fava beans, it is fava beans? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Off the plant? Yeah, no, off the plant, yeah, they're green, and then they're, these are canned. I like the can because they're, they're softer. 100% of health over here. Our Mediterranean diet have is voted again the best diet in the world of course it's now the, mo the most fat the it's fashionable you know very fashionable uh trend to have a mediterranean it's, it's diet tasty. and it's healthy that's why people want right that yeah. sausage and and all that that kills you that's sausage the shit that kills you the no, bacon and eggs and all that that's how it's why any sausage is your bad that's food. how you should eat that's why all the germans die young Tahini. This is tahini and it's a uh, raw. No, steak. actually, no, I did. No, you put water or I you put, put lemon juice. Oh, okay. Water, yeah, it's, it's too thick. It's, it's like a mud. Our chef over here. I, I was chef last time. This time um, it's yours. And olive oil. Wait, um, yeah, no, why don't you put the lemon, some lemon and garlic in the. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't put the, the tuna? Garlic, garlic, yeah. garlic. Yeah. garlic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Healthy uh, Middle Eastern breakfast. What do you have there? Garlic and? Gotta make sure every cam install starts with this. You cannot install a cam without this kind of breakfast. This is close to mozzarella, but drier. 
Yep. Yeah. And it's uh, salty, right? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. 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 You okay with being in the video? Huh? You okay with being yeah. in the video? Mm-hmm. Everyone likes that, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> maybe I can. Maybe you'll be my thumbnail. He gets black eyes from his wife. Shit, fell. Woo, man. <laughs> I hope you guys are going to stand close We're to gonna each other. We're going to be ripping today. No baby. kissing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about kissing. Oh, man, it looks good. I don't want any farting going on today. Hey, re- keep this PG, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one style. Wow. All right, we'll keep it PG. No poo pads today. Watch. Oh, look at this. Looks amazing, amazing. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Flying Ride 15 is here, gonna be streaming live yeah, every soon. How you doing, how you doing? Good. Hot, warm, cooked, with all the spices and uh, parsley and cilantro. Yes, cilantro? Yeah. No, 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 it's not, no parsley. Parsley and it has tahini in it. Ta- it has tahina, this one, this one, this one, uh, tahini, tahini inside. And here goes the Tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, and have onions, and again, more yeah, parsley is, on the top. This is kind of right up my alley. And we're you know going to have it this, this is with uh, eggs. <clears throat> wow. And it's really good. And that is the Syrian style. Syrian style of food. Now, what is that called? And that's Syrian style. Syrian style food. We don't mash it up. Same thing. thing. Uh, uh, beans, uh, uh, garlic, uh, cilantro. This looks Mexican, amazing. Is there, I like a totally different, different species. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know it's a different country for crying out loud. Yeah, that's why they say, well, you're from Spain, you're Spanish. Guess. That's like an Eskimo and a, and a Oh, oh yeah. Eskimo. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah, this is really, beautiful. So we really thought that oh, there'd be just people. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's like the size of Pico. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Now our host, the doctor. Here. Well, these guys kept saying is, oh yeah, we watch you guys on uh, live. <laughs> uh, Anybody who watches me, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Watch, watch, watch. This is how you do it, guys. Okay, it's like this. Even well, half. you could do it the way he's doing it, too. Take a fork and put it right in. All right, real good. Great. That's good, right? Did you guys have, is that enough eggs, I'm gonna need more. I could make more real quick. What? No. I'm gonna have a good one. Wow. Look oh, that flavor. What do you think? Good. Amazing. Well, that's extraordinary. It really is. You okay? I almost fell forward here. Yeah, sorry. I think you got thumb on your shirt. I did? Of course he's saying it's good. He made it. really <laughs> good. Who made it? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> minute you eat anything. Okay, let's start wrenching, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, guys, just finished. Just finished. Uh, uh, breakfast was great. Breakfast. Rolled Blackbird in. Uh, it's lifted already. This build, I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's not going to be step by step. There's so many videos out there already. And besides, I have to be. I have to be uh, hands on. So I won't have too much time to be filming. And in this build, I'm gonna be mainly replacing uh, the cam, putting a Zippers 468, Rich uh, 468 inside, tappets, uh, adjustable push rods, push rod covers. I already have a filter, high flow filter, uh, air intake already for my stage one. And I already have the pro pipe two into one, which is all you need. And then we're gonna have the map. I'm gonna at this stage. I'm gonna be using uh, the flashed, uh, flashed uh, fuel pack three that I have. I called uh, Vance and Heinz got uh, got my uh, map from them. But later on, I'm gonna take it uh, to prof- uh, to a professional tuner to get the map done. We already have the tappets soaking in oil. Uh, I'm gonna start by lifting it as uh, done already, removing removing the fuel tank, removing the seat, removing uh, the pipe, and we're putting and we're putting uh, and we're putting spark and we're putting new red spark plug cables. Nadal got me them as a gift. Thank you very much, Nadal. 
And uh, then we'll start removing the cam cover. I'm gonna be replacing uh, the cam cover with a chrome, chrome cam cover because mine originally is polished aluminum. And then we'll build it back up. So let's get on with the build. I, I didn't even have time to set up the cameras and everything. And Glenn's already at my bike. This time it's not as a supervisor. He's, <laughs> he's, he's actually wrench. He's got a screwdriver there, taking the heat shields off and the bags are off already. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna time this. We're gonna do this fast, not okay. like last time. Not like last time. Last time took us forever. We're, we're joking gonna around. We're right and we're gonna do it quick. Spark plugs off to get, uh, to get the exposure to the, uh, so we so don't have any compression. Let's put it that way. And Glenn over here, pipe. Let me know when you want me uh, to start working, okay? Okay, this this part is what I call garbage time because it's just right, just yeah, getting, just, just taking, breaking ripping the bike apart, pipe off, covers off, and then the interesting work starts. That's weird. What? Air filter, high flow, air intake. Uh, why are we doing this? Why do we need to actually take it apart? Because so we can get to the tap. And oh right, 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 yeah, right. We need otherwise, that shit's going to be in the tap. It's exactly. To the push rods. Okay, uh, Glenn is doing a good job over here. Trying. <laughs> I need that screwdriver. I am ready to go. Why? So we got some simultaneous work over here. Glenn on the pipes. And a doll on the air cleaner. I'm so used to standing up. Yeah, I figured, right? All day. Oh, there's one more. No, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no there's three. Oh, these three. Right. I know. I know. I like to go walk out. Yeah, I remember the blue. The seat, um, yeah. the okay, here are all the parts that we're going to be using. Obviously, the gasket set with the O rings. Uh, Tappets are currently soaking. I'll show you them very soon. The cam bearing. New cam bearing. Tappet cuffs. SNS. The SNS push rod cover kit. Adjustable. And uh, the timing sprocket, they call it. Outer. Out of crank, whatever. I'll show. I'll have the parts. I'll have the parts down by the description. This pretty much is going to replace uh, the sprocket that comes with the Harley that has a little bit uh, give to it. This one has a tight fit and uh, supposedly helps with uh, the timing. Uh, so we're going to be replacing that, and we're going to be using uh, my uh, oil pump that we have, and the cam plate is going to stay. Anything that is uh, really uh, unnecessary for this build is not going to be used. I call it a, a cam swap on a budget or a stage two on a budget. I like to live within my means, so whatever does not need to be replaced is not going to be replaced. And uh, I got on eBay a new uh, cam cover in chrome, uh, and that's it. Yeah, last... Uh, O2 sensors coming off, and Glenn finally got it off. No, been, time's ticking, dude. You see, Sandy, you want to go with these? You want to switch them to black? It's up to you. No. Uh, what is the push rod cover? Yeah, or the, the tappet covers? The tappet covers. Right, Glenn, Let's what do you see. think? Glenn, you get what you... the black ones with the black push rods. Are you painting this black? No. no. So I would no. just, no, I like the, the way like it is. The yeah, yeah. Cam cover, cam cover coming off. You should, why don't you put it down like that and do it? I don't want to be stupid. You have to give me the song. It's like 100%. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called changing the goalposts. If you notice, if you notice, moving the goalposts every time you fucking turn around. You don't see me commenting on it. Even if it's someone's friends, I can't. There we go. You know, what? He says it all the time. Yeah, he doesn't even notice it, but I don't even respond to it when you see. Anybody think that you're something that you're fucking. Correct. Okay, taking uh, the push rods 
push rod covers off. These are not going to be used, so we can pretty much... Uh, we might use them. It depends. You don't want to put the black ones on, right, Sandy? Uh, not really important to me, tell you the truth. You have a black and uh, chrome. The, the splash. You can use that against them down the yeah. He's not acknowledging, correct? Got you. No, just so we don't... But it's a delicate how vicious is this? Look. Trust me, I know when to push the envelope. I don't, I wouldn't say this sort of more publicly, but it is the trendy thing right now. Like back, whatever, take when we were in high school. Whatever was fucking trendy. I don't Okay, we got the we uh, push, we push this. So got we the can, push rods. What are you going to do? Press the brakes so I can uh, this off doesn't using the snippets, the huge snippets. Now bolt cutters are called, not snippets. What do you call them? Bolt cutters. Bolt cutters. He calls, cutters. He calls them snippets. Yeah, I call them snippets. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're taking the. This is the pulley. I don't know. No, what isn't that where the that's on the same? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's on the same uh, axle. Uh, the axis of the pinion. Of the cam. It's a pinion. Something and this is the guy, the, this is the uh, sprocket that we're going to be replacing, changing with the uh, fueling that I got. And the finger that got hurt. That's the finger <laughs> that just got hurt. When he, uh, yeah, when he um, hit me with the snipper. <laughs> okay, now the, the chain tensioner is coming, is coming off and we will be reusing it. There is no need to change it. Like I said, stage two on a budget, so we're gonna be reusing it. Obviously, if you have the means and you're really into it, you can go ahead and buy the SNS tensioner, but it does the job just, uh, if Harley did it, built it, and engineered it, I think it's uh, good enough to be on a Harley. And this is but the uh, does that. I know. timing uh, what's he, what's he, what's he contraption, let's put it that way. The timing contraption. Oh, there you go. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Just and like the snip. The metallic yeah, yeah. The other one has now, the metallic. We, uh, now, we're now we're taking out the, the cam plate. Uh, as you've seen in uh, Nadal's in Nadal's build, uh, these guys are yelling. As you've seen in the in the in Nadal's build, he put an SNS uh, cam plate, which is uh, a better one they say. Uh, but Harley's cam plate is very good and good enough for this uh, for this cam. So we're going to be reusing that, and that's what we're doing right now. Don't take it yeah. upon yourself to think that we're going to know what we want. Of course. Listen to us. It doesn't have the brake pedal. doesn't have the hand grip. Okay, we're... Uh, Harley, Harley engineers over here are uh, discussing discussing the net 2023 model. So we're designing it right now. They do. These are manual. Okay. It's a little thing, right? Yeah. 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 What do you think? And the stereo. Eh, I like it all. We're, 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 we're debating... <laughs> or, talking about this notion of a CBO, we've talked a lot about it in the videos, the fact that these paint schemes look very, very similar. And in my point of view, I think there has to be more transparency that, hey, there's not that much uniqueness that exists with these CBOs. That's I all. agree, I agree, I agree. The it's the sand dune, the sand dune. They sell. Oh. They, do. they sell. Yeah. They sell. And it's, it's like, it's like you, pay, basically, you pay $10,000 more than I paid this. And you said that the sand dune is exactly, pretty much very close to the They're, white pearl. Very close. In full, in full, when I went to see it in person, I did notice a difference. But I had to look so close to look at the difference. Yeah. From In any of the videos you look, white sand pearl looks the same thing like sand dune to me. His, right. I think the difference is though, the white sand pearl has pearl in it, uh -huh. where yours is going to have metallic in it. Yeah, it's it's more yeah. metallic. And it does the the white sand sand pearl uh, skews more towards white. Mine skews more towards gray a bit. Yeah, especially when you look at it. Exactly. Yeah. The doc, can you stop? We're trying to talk over here. I know, right? We're trying to work over here. I think your front fender has a little black in it too. Right? I wish it did. Doesn't the fender have black in it? Oh man, you guys are moving fast today. There's a special tool again. Cam bearing coming out now. Right here. Right, that is the cam bearing extraction and insertion tool. Right now it's as in an extractor. Yeah, we move. Placing it exactly, uh, that it pulls exactly, uh, it's aligned on the same axis of the axes of the uh, bearing and it's going to pull it 
straight out without uh, harming the aluminum or whatever the cast itself of the motor, the engine itself. What is it? Uh, is it aluminum, the, the engine itself? I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. I don't know. The okay, we used the snippets. And we <laughs> the got snippets. <laughs> and we got this out. You see now the bearing is, is loose. Now we're taking the template off and uh, we'll take the stock bearing out. The power of the snippets. The snippets are out. Here, here's the stock bearing. That's a stock bearing. Right here. Okay. okay, here's the old bearing. Where's the bearing? Right here. Right here. There's the old bearing. You want to show them again? Uh, no, this is, this is, this the, is the new bearing. We're not going to show you the difference. We did that on Nadal's, uh, Nadal's uh, video, the big difference. And Mr. Inspector over here explained it to us last time. Between the cage and the cage, the cage, the cage bearing. On top. And we got, this time we got a fueling, a fueling uh, bearing. And this one is way better. We can get it out of the plastic. If, yeah, if we can only, yeah, that's. Yeah, no, I like, I... You like too much pressure, to too much pressure here. Again, Slow again. Look. No rush. With plenty of rollers no rush, in there. Up. Move your fingers. Move them away. There you go. Oh, you see no that? No rush here, but hurry up. <laughs> you see all the rollers? Mm -hmm. As opposed to As opposed the caged. Cage where it has part in, rollers, in part uh, a cage. Yep. And here, all rollers. Less friction, better movement. All right, I'm going live. So now our... Uh, Extraction tool turns into an insertion tool. You see how there's this plate and the bearing, the new bearing is uh, situated exactly on top of it. We're gonna push it in and then use the same method to get it in there, right there. Wait, I did it backwards. Okay, and still waiting. Here we go. Great waiting. And Glenn, you wanna jump in? Can't make a mistake here, fellas. Yeah. Mr. Holy Shift is doing. That's uh, it. We're doing in. Doing some videos That's here it. while we're at it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. If you guys can't it. hear me, uh, just uh, let me know in the comments. Trying to get the best view here. Try and bring it down. Yep. All right, what are we doing here, Dorian? Now we're we, removing we, the tool. We we're, just we're taking uh, it off the bearing yeah. after pressing it in. We just inserted the bearing in. Now we're taking so we can take the plate off. Now we're taking the tool the tool off. Got it. Okay. Uh, I just heard some. Thanks, uh, Nashville bagger. Yeah, I'll grab it. I'll yeah, grab the it. mic just fell. All right, I'll grab it there. Look at yes. It. Uh, initially, oh, there's the there's the bearing. It's better, yes. The it does bearing. look like a bunch of doctors. A lot of doctors oh, no. here in this room. Yeah. yeah. You got the assembly loop? Initially, uh, I'm going to be uh, using the map that I downloaded. I downloaded a map from uh, fuel, from uh, Vance and Heinz. I called them. Their support was really good. Shout out to uh, Vance and Heinz. <laughs> they actually sent uh, to my phone. They sent me uh, the map for the specific, uh, for the specific right, uh, the uh, setup, like my pro pipe and the cam well, I have them. I have them. and my air intake. They sent me uh, the can. They sent me the map. The map was then sent from my phone to the fuel pack, flashed, went into one of the slots, and then before I drove down, I rode down here. I uh, flashed my bike again to my current uh, map. And once we're done over here, I will convert back to the proper uh, map. Got it. There you go. Uh, now, once I'm done with that. I'm, sched I'm not scheduled yet, but I'm planned to get it uh, professionally tuned. Also, that was a question that uh, yes. one of the subscribers was asking. So I'm going to have it professionally tuned. Excellent. Where are you? Uh, where are you thinking about taking it to get it professionally tuned? Uh, I have a few ideas. All I right. Can, yeah. All right. Top secret. We got not we top got, secret. We got to tune in to Mr. Holy Shit's channel exactly, exactly. soon to find out where he's going to get this professionally. Exactly. Tuned. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm switching over the mic to our inspector right now. All right. Awesome. Actually, I'll grab the mic. Grab uh, we've got some subscribers. AKA Barber CBO in the building. Hey, he's asking, us, uh, he's asking us the weather in New Jersey. Cool bike. Now, he wants to know if now we had the wants to know if we had 468 I'm a, I'm is a going in. For you. Did we oh, have no, on? they didn't. No, <laughs> no, they didn't. Like, they did not have on the note, but they but, had some amazing. But the fool was amazing. The, the food, food, the, food, the food, food, Masri and full uh, uh, Suri. Suri was great.
it was amazing. So Watch Harley, Harley yeah. mapped my bike. Oh, what happened? Cancel. Sorry. Yeah. By the way, you can't no, know no, the You can't. You getting my face, my ugly mug? Yeah. Behind you. You go. No, but Sandy's over here with his micro camera. Uh, don't call it micro. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> Sandy's only challenged on Sundays. All right, here we go. I'm going to twice. Third of seat. Should we co cover her up or might as well, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to cover up. Where's your gasket, uh, Mr. Sandy? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, we have to put the... The, the what do you call that? Chain. Yeah. And that's the, the chain and old... timing. Uh, that's the new one. Just, uh, the lining them up. Lining up the holes. All right, I think we're good. I've uh, somehow... Show us. This yes, is yes, the most crucial part. Let me show. Wait, let me see. Because this probably... dot... Can you see the dot? Yeah. The dots are lined up. That's how it needs to be. Actually, we learned from experience that one of the one of the installs it wasn't uh, lined up properly, and the bike wasn't running well. And that wasn't a, on a twin cam. Oh yeah, it was on my. Sandy, I'm gonna need light over here. You're you're blocking my light. Yes. All right. Better is asking uh, on the chat uh, the fellow viewer. Now we got it's a little finagling over here with the uh, but now the bolts the teeth, on. but you gotta make sure that you see how it's aligned. Red, the Is it dot to dot? Yes, look at it. I Sandy. don't see the other dot. Right here, hold on. I don't see the other dot. Move here. The dot move. There it is, right there. Yeah, you see the dot? Yeah, but well, let's turn it. So it's okay. I see the dot. Yeah, I know, but it's not lined up, right? So it's not line. lined up. Glenn, but before we. No, see. it's lined up, no, but it's not. Oh yeah, we gotta move it. Move the move the uh, think so? side the wheel. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It is move lined up. up. Other way. Whoop. There we go. It's lined it's up. It's lined up. Yes, that means the timing marks are perfect. Okay, so there we got off. We lined. We moved the wheel to make sure that everything was lined up, right? It's in the building. <laughs> okay, the uh, chain, the tensioner. The other one's up All top. Right, the, uh, Sandy, yeah. what? Can I say, keep quiet, Mr. Professor? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I love him. I can hear him. John, he sends you his love. I can hear John. That's Glenn, you see right there. Give him the, uh, this is this is really fun because you got to see the production that's going on over here. <laughs> got, again, got Glenn the inspector, which Sandy actually saying that it's a great, uh, actually this time he's working. Nadal is doing all the wrenching. I help every once in a while. Nadal is doing the filming, and Mr. Flying Ride over here is uh, live, talking to Psycho Fanatics and Camilo from uh, Barber CVO 19. And I actually see you guys on the video over there, live. Crazy production. Even Hollywood doesn't, doesn't do this. Soon we're uh, sending the drone up in the garage, right here. <laughs> and we're gonna have aerial footage to you, for you, so stay tuned. Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay, all right. That's it. All right, we got we got Harley Cam chest Harley completed. So we do a good time. We're making it is the fastest wrench. Right, Nine wrenches. Getting our uh, gasket kit over here. Sure yeah, where's your little knife? Off the okay. can, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell thanks a lot, John. You're right, John. That's all we check now. Yeah, better. You're right. One degree. All right. So the video applies to everything except temperature. Thanks, better. <laughs> Come on. Nadal, raise the camera a little bit. All right. Where's your, where, your, 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 your the new cover? Yeah. Over there. Yeah. And where are the with the yeah? They, I put their own screws in there, so we gotta put. See the bolts I put uh, somewhere over there. They should be on top on top of it. No, no, I, I yeah. I just want to make sure this time we know what we're doing. Because we know because there's, there's we no had, there's no fooling around. We had uh, a lot of a uh, uh, steep learning curve on the Thanks, on the first uh, cam. Uh, Nadal, Mr. Psycho Fanatic suggests you open up a shop. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tom, I don't want any more work. He says he doesn't want any more work. <laughs> 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 
the fuck you money. You don't need no yeah, money. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we were 12 years old when we started one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For those of you watching, uh, so Mr. Holy Shift, yeah. Ryan, Cycle Fanatics, they're all headed down with, uh, uh, who else is going? Brandon is going. Dave. Uh, Dave. Dave. Uh, big guy. Mr. Big, big guy. guy. Bunch of the crew Sandy. is headed down. They're actually taking the auto track. And you're going to see Sandy's new and improved. Beast. Uh, Blackbird. 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 We got to start. We got to start. By the way, you're hearing it here first. <laughs> That's right. On fly and ride. That's right. Blackbird. Sandy's, Sandy's bike is called Blackbird. There you go. Blackbird's getting an afterburner. <laughs> <laughs> also known as the crow. <laughs> I told him I wasn't going to pay a penny on that myself. Okay, we're, oh, we uh, just put the cam cam cover on, the chrome cam cover on. Uh, now we're working the tappet uh, covers, and we're going to put the, the uh, tappets in and push rods. That's the next step. Sandy, what oil did you use? But uh, yeah, go check out Ty. Glenn is awesome taking out getting the uh, tappet covers out, which is a pain in the ass, but because there's a lot of access is very difficult. Show Camilo, you see? Yeah. Camilo, check He's out. He's not the only one with fancy stuff. So check out, Madano's, uh, we saw that we saw this uh, recently on any of my videos. We just did a complete video series on this bike. He just got those uh, upgraded new uh, rotors installed on his bike. They look out. Uh, what? Yeah, what Galfer. Galfer? Galfer, yeah. It looks awesome. It really does. I still gotta do the put install the caliper stuff. It looks great. Now we're doing, we're doing something yeah. really. Right, we're gonna trim. We're last last uh, bolt. Sandy, you gonna catch no. this? No. Yeah, get one This is not the last one. One before the last second. The to last, last one bolt. I can't even break loose. Oh uh, yeah. The that's the one that's gonna bust. Uh, that's what we're scared of. No, not we're scared. We're concerned. Uh, once we get that out, you use a we're going to pitch up the drone. I put the fucking uh, yeah. on this. Right there. Right, it's right going to this. this drone is going up over the CVO, not over Blackbird. <laughs> 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 the drone will get more hurt. Sandy, the guy. Make sure you guys go check out Harmony Fat Boy Jr. That beautiful bike. He's having financial that great. I am not, I am not, not responsible if that crashes in here or hurts anything. Yes, you are. You're on tape. All right. Okay. Here we go. You, you got a certificate of insurance? I do. Ready? Yep. Oops. Why is it vibrating? Jerry Yeah. Jerry! You gotta be careful there. Oh my God. We're changing the gasket. I know. Yeah. We gotta get it off. There it is. Gasket coming there off. Covers are off. All in one oh, piece. Garment. One piece. Take that. We gotta get these off. Yeah, that gasket, the other gasket came out. Uh, now we're taking the old tappets out, right? Okay, yeah, well, I need, I need, need to get it out. Where's the little... Uh, Hey guys, a small setback. This is real life. This happens in real life. The bolt that held the uh, tappet cuffs, the head snapped off, although we were very careful. Now we're trying to figure out how to extract it, uh, trying to find the proper tool. Stay tuned. Uh, the video might end here or the video might be uh, continuing soon. If it's uh, gonna continue, then you'll probably never see what I just said. But if it's ending now, then uh, thanks uh, for watching. Hope you enjoy this. I'm Sandy and you're watching Holy Shift. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll be uh, continuing this build and uh, I'll update you how it uh, ended. Okay guys, you know, we have to take this short break because we're stuck and uh, we can't get this, uh, this bolt out. It snapped on us. And I, at this stage, I was sure I would be like, if something like this would ever happen to me at different, uh, different times, I would be like all upset and nervous and anxious how to fix it. And you know what? It can happen to you. It can happen to everybody. And just think about it. What's the big deal? What can happen? Worst case, 
Worst, worst case, we take the bike, we load it up on a trailer, and we take it uh, 10 minutes away to a professional uh, shop, either Harley's here, or they have another uh, shop that does professional tuning, and they extract it, and then we continue the job. So I'm kind of relaxed. I'm not as upset as I thought I'd be. Uh, I was actually anxious, you know, like, you know, it's kind of, I was nervous, but like you said, it's not a big deal. We'll just load the bike, bring it over, and bring it back. Yeah. So, like... Uh, and listen, while they're there, they might yeah. as well tune it for you. Yeah, yeah. Right, since you have to Yeah, no, but we'll bring... Point, yeah. Now we'll bring it back and p- complete the job, and then I'll bring it over to them. I would have to complete the job. Nah, it's, uh, I want to do, do the whole job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Go for it. Glenn and Nadal went down to Harbor Freight to get the extracting right. tool, so yeah. let's see. Let's uh, hope. So the bike, what do you mean? Okay, guys, update. We could not find the proper tool to extract uh, the broken bolt. We're going to take it tomorrow to, to a local shop. They're gonna, we're going to trail the bike over there, have him uh, extract that for us, and then we'll bring it back and continue, continue the job. Like I said, it's a build on the budget, and we want to keep it that way, so we'll complete the job by ourselves. Stay tuned. Uh, that's it for now. Next update, uh, next video. Whatever. This is going to be edited out. <laughs> Guys, we're on the way back home. Uh, we left the bike at Nadal's tomorrow. We're going to trail the bike over to the local shop. Uh, I forgot their name. Uh, and they're going to extract that bolt. Now, I was actually considering whether should I uh, let them only extract the bolt and then complete the job. Complete the job or not. Uh, but then I said, then I said, you know what? It's only fair to you guys that you see the job completed by us. So, yeah, it's a little bit of more of a headache. But we'll take, we'll actually trail the bike back home to Nadal's. And because all we have left to do is pretty much put the push, the rods. push rods back in. Tappets. Tappets. I mean, tappets, push rods, bolt them down. I mean, like uh, set the right uh, length of uh, the push rods, then close it up flash uh flash the uh the fuel pack and then fire it up so you guys deserve actually to hear first first hand of the bike uh, starting up when we're starting it up so that's what we'll do and glenn even uh suggested that we, that's what we should do so we listen to glenn because uh that just as glenn you know so that's it guys uh, on a happy note and excited for tomorrow I'm Sandy and you're watching Holy Shift. Until the next uh, episode of this build, peace out. <laughs> Let me have it. Let me have it. I'll throw. I'll throw it. I'll throw it. Don't worry. I'll throw it. I'll throw it. Let me go. Let me go. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Come here. Come on. Bring it over. Yeah.